Hello everyone and welcome back. I'm Diana if you're new here and I'm really excited about today's video because well first it's mostly just a sit down video but I thought as you've seen the title it's a monthly reset and I thought it would be wonderful to do one. I saw this idea from another YouTuber Keegan Acton and she did it and it was so inspiring because I was like Usually, you know, you have a monthly, a yearly goal. You have sort of a resolution that you put out at the beginning of the year. And a lot of times, actually this year for sure, I didn't really put out a, a yearly resolution. I only had one goal and that's this, basically just YouTube, but I didn't really write down. And then after watching her video, I was like, the year is gonna pass me by and I'm going to wonder what happened. Like, what did I do in that year? And this is brilliant because you get to actually write down each month what goals you want and what you've accomplished or something like that. And so I thought I should present it as well and it's also going to be helpful for me and I hope that it will be helpful for you because I strongly encourage you to try it out as well. Now, you guys, I have tried to do this video about three times already and I was trying to actually use my uh, my really good camera with good what is it quality better quality but I still can't seem to figure out how to make it work and it's weird because I've had it for about seven years and I used to use it for different types of things however for some reason I don't know because I have put it in the back seat for about a whole two years it's just not I don't remember how to make it work so everything has been going down south however I'm just using what I've been using and I am happy that at least I'm going to get this video out and not stress over it so yay that's awesome that is a goal indeed okay now there are three things we're going to talk about today one is going to be our goals and the next one is going to be highs and lows and the third one will be what we're looking forward to what we're looking for to period uh, for this month of March so I wrote down my things and I wrote them on my phone you could write them on a piece of paper you could write them on a spreadsheet you could use graphs even so that you can see kind of where you're growing where you're improving or anything like that so definitely encourage that but yeah you could definitely write it down like I did and I thought all I have to do is check mark it off at the end of the month when I have accomplished everything and then I get to redo it again next month hopefully and then get to look back and say I did that no I didn't do that or something like that let's start off with our goals for this month of March and also happy March okay so I put down that I want to go on a walk at least two times a week you guys it's been so cold I mean it's still winter it's literally freezing outside and it yesterday was I think the worst it was ice cold the whole last week was just ice cold because it actually snowed in California and it rained so much in California this month no last month in February anyways so I had not been walking doing my daily exercises I generally walk enjoy my walks when it's summertime because it's warmer and now I'm even happier because I know that March is generally the time where it starts to get a little bit warmer it's a little springy so yeah I'm looking forward to that but I definitely have to start this week and yeah we'll go with that so two walks every week and also I put down that I want to go on a solo activity now solo activities are interesting because Sometimes you just want to do things with people, but I know that during the summertime, I'm more inclined. Again, everything is really evolving around hot weather for me, but I am definitely not wanting to let my year pass me by and wonder like, what, what in the world? Like, what did I do from January to, to, to July? Nothing, right? So, and there's nothing wrong with doing nothing, but as long as you're having fun. And for me, the way I have fun is I could stay home all day, I could watch a movie, I could watch YouTube and I could also be in the sun and actually go on a bike ride or and go and I don't know walk around find a new city and kind of just tour it a little bit so something like that so I want to do that more this month and probably hopefully all the way until you know 
it gets colder but definitely i want to do that this month and so i'm looking forward to that and i think that it all it's also going to be something that will allow me to meet more people or meet new people and yeah we'll see how it goes another thing i want to do this month is cook fish <laughs> You guys, I've never cooked fish in my whole entire life. I've cooked meat, I've cooked chicken, I've cooked whatever, but I've never cooked fish. I think I've always been kind of nervous because fish cooks quite fast, right? It's not one of those, oh, let it sit there for 10 hours. No, you can literally just cook it and it'll be ready within minutes, I think. <laughs> I think. But that's my goal. I really, really want to eat fish and I want to learn how to make fish and cook it and eat it. So that's on a goal of mine. And another goal for this month is to incorporate more fats in my diet, y'all. I eat peanut butter as my main fat. I think that's my main fat. And it's not, it's not enough, it's not sufficient. I think I've lost, I have dry, oily skin. And I think that what I realized, well, I went to get a facial I think in January or something like that. And they were like, your skin is dry. And I was telling myself, no, that's impossible for it to be dry. Look at how much oil I'm producing. But then they're like, the inside of your skin is dry. Your body is dry. And I'm like, oh. And I've realized now that I think it's because I don't eat fats in my body, in my diet. So I definitely have to incorporate that. It's also really good for elasticity. So yeah, it's a little hard because I don't drink dairy and I think you could have a lot of fats in dairy like cheese and, and cow milk and I don't have that. So it's a little bit of a downfall, but we're gonna figure it out. We're gonna make it work. We're gonna get our oils back and pew, pew, happy girl, happy life. Okay, and finally, for the last goal, I want to read at least two books this month. Two books. I must read two books this month because I tend to have slow reading tendencies. If a book is too much information, I kind of just give up. If it's boring, I give up. And if it's, um, if it's too long, I get bored easily. So not that I'm really truly giving up. I just get bored and then I just don't go back. I had started reading a book in January and actually read two books. Well, I finished one. The other one is still 100 pages left and it's been challenging to get back on so yeah but this month two new books from start to finish that's the goal so yeah that's basically how we're doing it we write down our goals and the good thing is that they're they're not so bombarding so they're they're, they're attainable right you definitely want something that you know you could obtain within this month if you do your your monthly goals something that's not gonna overwhelm you, you definitely want that. So I think that's good enough. I think I could definitely accomplish those goals. All right, and let's move on to the next part, which is our highs and lows. And I'm gonna start off with my lows because I don't want to end off on a bad note. It's just like, yeah. But I have two lows for this past few couple months. One was, let's see here, I put down that the algorithm is not on my side. <laughs> I think that the algorithm is not on my side, that my videos are not being pushed out so that others can see them, or I just don't really know how to navigate YouTube. So that's been a low for me because I thought that I have been doing more videos, but I, I would have thought that at least they would have been pushed out and maybe you know, I would have gained some subscribers, but I haven't. Uh, but however, I do want to say that last year when I did do my travel vlogs, I gained some subscribers and I want to say hello and thank you. I know I don't know if I've already said that. I think I did, but if I didn't, welcome and thank you. And I hope that even though I am not traveling right now, that you will still be able to enjoy my content. So yeah, that's that, that's what I'm hoping for. But that was definitely a low because I'm like, I have seen other new channels and they are getting viewed. They're getting views and mine aren't as much as I would like them to. So that's been a low. And then another low is that, <laughs> this one's a little sad as well. 
I had made plans to do something last month and I was really pumped. I had everything figured out. Everything was a green light, literally. Like double checked, rechecked, had the meetings, had conversations about this and last minute, the day before, it got canceled. You can understand when you are looking forward to something and it just gets canceled on you. It's just, it's horrible. It's really horrible because I really wanted that to happen. I really wanted that to take place. I was just like, finally, finally, finally. And you know, yeah. But the good thing is that even though, I mean, it's, it was just, it's something that was more of a, like a personal thing that I wanted to be, that I wanted to see take place and it didn't. But the good thing about it, or at least that's what I'm telling myself is that it's kind of good that it didn't happen because then I'm not really, I, I don't know, like all of my, my worries were calmed down. And so, yeah, I guess it's a good thing that it didn't go through. I mean, that's all I can say because yeah, but it's still very low because I was looking forward to it. <sighs> yeah, that's sad. But now we're going to move to the highs and that's the best part about the highs is because you, you notice that you've had your lows and you felt sad or whatever or you know whatever mood you, that, that low put you in. But then you realize that you have a high and then you have something to be grateful for. You have things to be thankful for. You have ways to remind you to be happy, ways to remind you to be joyful. And so that's what the highs are really about for me because it's like, there's good in life. There's good in life. Even if there is something bad that has probably taken place, there's still good. Write down your highs. And even if your lows may be probably more, I don't know, you could still look at your highs and smile because highs always make you happy because you're remembering the good things that happened. And what more do you want in life? You want happiness, you want good things. So yeah, definitely highs are good. But let's go into my highs. What I put down as a high, I put down that I started drinking a daily green smoothie. Y'all, it's been seven days. I used to drink juices. I have a juice machine, but the thing is huge. It's so huge and then you have to wash every particle or every part by itself and it's it's kind of a hassle. So once I start doing other things or I'm not at home as often, I just kind of not do it because it's too much work. But I can do it. I can go days doing it. It's just once I leave that routine, it's hard to kind of get back in it. This is easier because it's more of a blender juice type of thing. It's not fully a smoothie, but I love that. I've, been able to incorporate that into my days and I'm super happy. I did see it on a YouTube video and I thought, okay, let's try it, why not? Yeah, so I'm really, really happy about that because yeah, we need more greens in our system. And in addition, I also put down that I started drinking lemon water more consistently. Y'all, seven years in the making for this to actually take place. I have drank lemon water for a whole month of February, the whole month. That deserves a high five. Highs, get it? I know it's a little cheesy, but that's incredible because since for the longest, I think seven years ago is when I heard about drinking lemon water and I tried it for a couple of days, but I could never get myself to wake up in the morning to drink lemon water. And I was like, okay, that's not for me. And then I later on saw it again and they'll say, oh yes, there are good benefits to drinking lemon water in the morning. So I tried it for a day, couldn't make that stick. But a whole month, a whole month I've been doing it. And that is so good. So now it's part of my routine and I just wake up in the morning and the first thing that I do when I get out of the bed is just make the water, squeeze the lemon, and bam, we are good to go. Y'all, that is a game changer for me. Now, have I seen any results? No, I don't think I've seen any results. Nothing has really changed, but I think that over time, I will start to see some good things. I don't know, I don't know. But for now, I'm happy that it's sticking, and that's important. Another high that I put down is that I have been getting out more content. If you remember, I used to put 
content out and then I would stop, you know, and then I wouldn't have any ideas. But I think I've gotten in the flow and I'm really, really, really proud of myself. So yeah, especially since January, it's been like, it's been going, it's been going and I'm super happy and I'm hoping that I will figure out how to fix my camera and, you know, give you guys better quality. But for now, you know, I hope you're enjoying what I'm giving you. So yeah, that's that. Another one, another high for me is that I put down that... <laughs> Okay, so we all know that I suffer from acne and acne scars and all the things, but I've been using a cream and the creams, I don't even know if they're working. Everything looks the same. It's been a year, blah, blah, blah. The thing is that I mixed the two creams and what, what happened is that some of my dead skin has been shedding off. That's amazing for me. <laughs> That's amazing for me because I know it sounds a little gross and it sounds a little weird, but for me, I'm like, oh, that saves me money from going to an, uh, an esthetician because they're going to peel off my dead skin. But if this is doing it for me, y'all, that is good news for me. So hopefully in the next months or so, we'll see more progress. But again, these aren't heavy changes in my life, but... I'm hoping that they will they will progress, right? But it's still really good and I'm very, very happy. Ah, yeah, so that's that. Okay, so as you can see, I, I was happy when I was talking about my highs and you cannot change that. You cannot change the things that make you happy. You cannot change when life is bringing lemons in your, in your atmosphere and you are making lemonade. It's good. Okay, now for what we're looking forward to. Honestly, I'm just looking forward to making more content and I am looking forward to accomplishing my goals or doing my goals. I'm really looking forward to them because I'm a little bit nervous, especially about the book reading because I've told myself two books, but I know I can do it. I know I can do it. Do you believe in me? Do you believe that I can do it? If you do believe that I can do it, put it in the comments and let me know. Push me to say that. What is that? Give me a little motivation. Give me a little motivation because we all need a little motivation. And whatever you're looking forward to, to doing as well, you got it. Yes, yes, yes. You have it. And so I definitely think that it's going to be wonderful. I'm happy for you. All right. That's basically it. You know, it's so simple. It's not a very difficult thing, right? It's not challenging. But again, if you want to kind of put it in graphs or spreadsheets, I recommend checking out Keegan Acton's video. I liked that she used spreadsheets and graphs so you can kind of see how that might work for you if you're that kind of uh, person. I'll leave her link at the bottom, I think. Anyways, that's basically it. I hope this was helpful for you. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up as that would help me out a lot. And if you have not yet, don't forget to subscribe. And also you could share the video in case you want someone else to be able to watch it and get some sort of motivation on how to do their months. But yeah, I'll definitely check back in in April and we will see where we went and whether or not we succeeded and whether or not everything turned out beautifully. All right, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye.